Niagara Falls, situated on the border between the United States and Canada, stands as one of the world's most iconic and formidable waterfalls. Crafted over millennia by receding glaciers and erosion, this locale holds numerous enigmatic tales. Some are eerie enough to give even seasoned experts a shiver. From millions of coins to horrific dead bodies, here are 20 chilling discoveries scientists made when draining Niagara Falls. Number 20, millions of coins. The majestic Niagara Falls, renowned primarily for its breathtaking natural beauty, conceals a lesser known secret. In 1969, an ambitious project was initiated by the US Army Corps of Engineers to divert the flow of the Niagara River away from the American side of the falls. This endeavor aimed to study erosion effects and explore potential preservation methods. As the waters withdrew, the riverbed underneath was exposed, revealing an unexpected treasure trove. To the surprise of many observers, the riverbed sparkled with millions of coins. Over the years, numerous visitors to Niagara Falls had cast coins into the waters while making wishes. These tokens of hope and aspiration had amassed at the riverbed's bottom. With the temporary redirection of the waters, this shimmering heap of currency became visible, illustrating the extent of people's belief that a tossed coin and a silent wish could bring them luck. Despite the seemingly whimsical nature of the practice, these coins joined the collection of items discovered in the historic body of water. Number 19, the Screaming Tunnel. The Screaming Tunnel, another eerie landmark in the Niagara region, is steeped in local legends. Situated in the northwest corner of Niagara Falls, this aged limestone tunnel runs beneath what once housed the Grand Trunk Railway lines. While its exterior may appear unassuming, those acquainted with its tail exercise caution before venturing inside. The most popular legend encircling the Screaming Tunnel recounts the tragic fate of a young girl within its confines. Various versions of the story exist, but the most frequently heard one narrates the tale of a girl who narrowly escaped a nearby blazing building her clothes ablaze, she sought refuge in the tunnel in a desperate bid to extinguish the flames, but regrettably succumbed to her injuries. Legend has it that if one were to strike a match in the tunnel at midnight, her piercing scream would reverberate and the match would be extinguished by an imperceptible force. Numerous inquisitive visitors and enthusiasts of the paranormal have tested this legend, with some vehemently asserting the authenticity of the experience. Reports include unexplained gusts of wind and faint cries. While many subscribe to the belief that the legend may have roots in actual events given the region's rich history, skeptics contend that it's merely a byproduct of local lore. Number 18. The Niagara Scow Niagara Falls stands as a breathtaking water expanse, yet it has claimed various watercraft and living entities throughout its existence. Among these incidents, one of the most notable involves the historic Niagara Scow. In 1918, this flat-bottomed steel barge, commonly referred to as a scow, was engaged in dredging operations. On August 6th of that year, the scow broke free from its towing tug approximately a mile upriver from Niagara Falls. Propelled by robust currents, the scow embarked on a direct course toward the falls. Miraculously, it grounded on rocks around 2,750 feet from the edge of the falls. This fortunate entanglement thwarted a potentially fatal descent for its two crew members, Gustav Lofberg and James Harris. Stranded on the scow with the thunderous roar of the falls nearby, the men faced the constant threat of the scow shifting and plummeting into the cascading waters. Their plight drew the attention of thousands of spectators along the shore, anxious for the safety of the stranded crew. A daring and dramatic rescue operation unfolded 
over the next 17 hours. This involved shooting a line over the barge from the roof of a nearby powerhouse and utilizing a breeches buoy, a rope-based rescue device. In the early hours of the following day, both men were successfully rescued, alleviating the tension of the onlookers. The ordeal and the ingenuity of the rescuers garnered headlines across North America. Today, the remnants of the Niagara Scow endure, marked by rust and the wear of time and the elements. These remnants are still visible from the Canadian side of the river, serving as a testament to this gripping chapter in Niagara Falls history. Number 17, the Barrels of Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls, with its flowing waters and awe-inspiring vistas, has entranced millions for centuries, spanning the boundary between the United States and Canada. This natural marvel boasts a rich history interwoven with tales of adventure, wonder, and human daring. In the era predating its popularity as a tourist destination, indigenous peoples inhabited the region, revering the falls for its immense power and beauty. As colonization unfolded and exploration intensified, the falls emerged as a hotspot for travelers and adventurers. By the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Niagara's appeal extended beyond its visual allure. The falls began to draw a distinct type of visitor, daredevils. These thrill-seekers viewed the roaring waters as a challenge to be conquered. Among the most iconic exploits was the endeavor to descend over the falls in a barrel. Throughout the years, daredevils employed various contraptions ranging from barrels to rubber balls and even jet skis, all in a bid to confront the might of the falls and carve a place in its storied history. Periodically, changes in water levels, maintenance work, or construction projects have brought to light fragments of these daring attempts. These remnants serve as silent reminders of the audacious spirits who once enclosed themselves within barrels hoping to endure the plummet. Number 16, Annie Edson Taylor. Now, in the chronicles of those who braved the falls, stands Annie Edson Taylor, an intrepid adventurer with a resolute spirit. Annie occupies a unique place in the history of Niagara Falls. Born in 1838, her life was marked by various pursuits, including teaching and extensive travels. Approaching her 63rd birthday, she conceived a daring plan to secure her financial future and establish a lasting legacy. Annie's audacious idea took form in 1901 when she became the first person to successfully navigate Niagara Falls inside a specially designed barrel made of oak and iron cushioned with a mattress for protection. On October 24, 1901, amidst a curious crowd, the barrel embarked on its journey in the Niagara River, sealing Annie bravely inside. Spectators held their breath as the barrel navigated the powerful currents, approaching the brink and disappearing over the edge. Moments later, it reappeared at the base of the falls. Rescuers swiftly retrieved it, finding Annie alive and relatively unharmed, aside from a few bumps and bruises. Annie's daring feat made headlines nationwide, captivating the public and instantly becoming a sensation. Her courageous plunge into the unknown, a testament to human resilience and determination. Number 15, Meteor Pieces in 2022. In the Celestial Saga of 2022, authorities issued a call to the public to unearth space rocks that may have descended in the vicinity. This call came in the wake of a meteor, approximately a meter in diameter, illuminating the southern Ontario sky. Subsequently, the meteors fragmented, crash landing into Lake Ontario and along the shores of Grimsby in the Niagara region. Naturally, Scientists were eager to acquire any remnants of the meteor. Each piece held the potential to be billions of years old, containing a treasure trove of data that researchers had long coveted. A single small fragment could unlock mysteries spanning eons. Who could fathom the wealth of information a mere piece of meteor might offer, 
perhaps even taking a plunge into the depths of the water, carrying secrets from the cosmos. Number 14. The Lost Treasures Beneath the majestic cascade of Niagara Falls, renowned for its awe-inspiring beauty and raw power, lies a realm of concealed mysteries within its turbulent waters. While countless visitors have gathered at its edges to marvel at the forces of nature, the falls, inadvertently, has become a repository for lost possessions. Jewelry, coins, and various small trinkets have, over the centuries, slipped from the hands or pockets of unsuspecting tourists consumed by the vast and relentless flow of water. Whether it be a ring sliding off a finger, a necklace coming undone, or coins intended for wishes missing their mark, the depths below are now deemed a treasure trove of these lost mementos. Given the formidable force and depth of the water, coupled with a rocky and uneven riverbed, retrieving these items becomes an almost insurmountable challenge. The swirling currents and the natural erosion of the falls mean these keepsakes are in constant flux, being relocated or buried beneath sediment. For many, these lost items carry sentimental value, representing memories of visits to the falls or significant moments in their lives. For others, they are simply material losses. However, for the falls itself, each item contributes to its already extensive history, a silent testament and memento of the countless visitors who have come and gone over the years. Number 13, the Echo Club. The Echo Club, steeped in mystery, has become a canvas for stories of unexplained phenomena, mysterious noises, and fleeting glimpses of apparitions. Visitors and staff alike have recounted tales of echoing voices and footsteps that persist when no one else is present. Described as distant, creepy, and otherworldly, these sounds have not only contributed to the club's reputation, but also played a role in naming it. Among the most discussed spirits within the club is that of a woman adorned in vintage clothing. Witnesses claim to have seen her wandering the halls only for her to vanish upon approach. Speculations abound, with some suggesting she might be a former patron or an individual intricately connected to the building's early days. Would you muster the courage to visit this intriguing establishment if the opportunity presented itself? The Echo Club beckons with its spectral mysteries, inviting the daring to explore the enigmatic and paranormal facets of its storied existence. Number 12. Cave of the Evil Spirit Amidst the rich history of Niagara Falls lies a focal point of numerous legends and tales, the infamous Cave of the Evil Spirit. For those acquainted with Niagara Falls, the Devil's Hole Ravine holds a significant place draped in an aura of mystery. The deep rocky gorge, sculpted by ancient waters, stands as both a beautiful and eerie spectacle. However, beyond its natural allure, the ravine is entrenched in stories that send shivers down the spines of those who encounter them. Local folklore weaves a tapestry of unsettling narratives, suggesting that the spirits of individuals meeting untimely ends within the ravine continue to linger. Some accounts attribute these apparitions to Native American spirits, particularly from the massacre during Pontiac's rebellion in 1763, when Seneca warriors ambushed British soldiers. Visitors recount experiences of sudden cold spots, echoes of disembodied voices, and even sightings of spectral warriors and soldiers, local whispers, further delve into the realm of mysterious rituals once conducted within the ravine, implying that the area may have been, and perhaps still is, a gathering ground for occult activities. Despite these tales, the allure of the ravine persists, drawing many visitors. However, not without a touch of caution, it's a common practice for those venturing into the cave to pack trinkets and other items for luck 
as there are prevalent sayings that the cave is under an ancient curse. Number 11, the ghost of Klett Hall. In the heart of Niagara University in Lyon, New York, proudly stands a historic structure known as Klett Hall. More than just a prominent landmark, this hall holds a special place in the tales of students and alumni, as it is the focal point of one of the university's enduring ghost stories, a narrative not uncommon in educational institutions. Constructed in the late 1800s, Klett Hall has served various purposes over the years. However, its most haunting account revolves around a former resident, a priest who once called its walls home. According to legend many years ago, this priest tragically took his own life on the fourth floor of Klett Hall. Since that fateful event, students and faculty have reported a plethora of unexplained phenomena. Empty corridors echo with phantom footsteps, doors open and close seemingly of their own accord, and a pervasive sense of unease lingers. All these occurrences are attributed to the spirit of the tormented priest. The most spine-chilling testimonials come from those who claim to have witnessed the ghostly figure of a man in clerical attire. These encounters often depict him wandering the hallways, particularly around the fourth floor, lost in contemplation or in search of something. Over the years, this spectral narrative has acquired a life of its own, weaving into the fabric of Niagara University's lore. While some dismiss it as a mere campus legend, others hold a firm belief in the spectral presence, treating it with a mix of respect and trepidation. The ghost of Klett Hall has become an integral part of the university's rich history, continuing to captivate those who dare to delve into its mysterious depths. Number 10, the Demon Barber of Bedminster. In the lineup of daring individuals, we find Charles Stevens, better known as the Demon Barber of Bedminster. Originally a commonplace barber, Charles harbored the heart of a stuntman. Much like Annie Edson Taylor, he gained popularity in England for his displays of strength and daring feats. In 1920, Charles decided to confront the formidable Niagara Falls Challenge, aspiring to join the ranks of those who had triumphed before him. For his daring stunt, Charles meticulously crafted a robust barrel, surmising that added weight might provide a smoother ride over the falls. Taking an extra precaution, he attached an anvil to his feet within the barrel Hoping for stability during the descent, the day of the stunt drew a curious crowd eager to witness Charles attempt the feat. Sealed into his barrel, he was released into the river and the crowd watched with bated breath as the barrel approached the falls. However, when the barrel was discovered at the bottom, it became evident that Charles's expectations hadn't been met. The challenge of the falls had proven more formidable than he had anticipated. Unfortunately, Charles's barrel didn't function as intended, and he did not survive the stunt. His attempt serves as a poignant reminder of the unpredictable and perilous nature of the mighty Niagara Falls. Number 9. Stephen Peer In the annals of Niagara Falls, Stephen Peer's legacy is etched as a determined tightrope walker who aimed to leave his mark by confronting the thunderous waters of Niagara in the late 19th century. Tightrope walking across the falls had become a popular daredevil act following the success of Charles Blondin and Stephen Peer, a local from Niagara Falls, was inspired to showcase his own metal. Peer's initial walks across the tightrope garnered cheers and admiration. Spectators would gather their eyes fixed on the thin line stretched across the vast expanse of water, witnessing the excitement as Pierre executed his daring feats. However, the allure of tightrope walking and the acclaim it brought proved strong. While stories about Pierre's final walk vary, it is commonly believed that after successfully completing a walk, Pierre attempted to repeat his act shortly thereafter. Delving into the details of his attempted stunt, over Niagara Falls might be unsettling. Suffice it to say 
that challenges like piers carried inherent risks. The mighty Niagara Falls with its thundering waters and ever-present mists is not just a sight to behold, but also a force of nature demanding respect. Number 8. James D. Honeycutt In the historical accounts of Niagara Falls, an event on July 9, 1960, sent shockwaves through the public, transforming what began as a simple boat ride into a riveting drama. At the center of this unfolding narrative was James Honeycutt, a 40-year-old contractor hailing from Raleigh, North Carolina. Known for his routine of taking friends' siblings, Roger and Dee and Woodward, on boat rides along the upper Niagara River, James found himself facing unforeseen challenges on that fateful day. Approximately a mile from the Horseshoe Falls, the boat's motor suddenly malfunctioned. Despite Honeycutt's desperate attempts to row towards the shore, the relentless pull of the current towards the falls proved insurmountable. As the boat drew near the falls, the rapid waters capsized it, abruptly separating the three occupants. In the midst of this turmoil, seven-year-old Roger Woodward surprisingly became the first individual to survive a descent over the falls without any protective barrel. Spotted by the maid of the mist's crew, he was rescued after spending several minutes in the water, miraculously sustaining only minor injuries. However, amidst the triumph of Roger's survival, the day bore its tragic consequence. James Honeycutt, the trusted family friend who valiantly attempted to save the siblings, did not emerge unscathed. The mighty waters took their toll, and he, unfortunately, did not survive the ordeal. Number 7. The Pink Palace Nestled in Niagara Falls, Ontario, is the Glenview Mansion, often affectionately called the Pink Palace. While its grand exterior stands as a testament to the region's rich history, beneath its elegant facade, tales of tragic events and their haunting aftermath have woven into the very walls of this mansion, constructed in the 1860s. The Glenview Mansion bore witness to its first dark chapter shortly after its completion. An opportunistic con man seeking to exploit the property attempted to sell the mansion to an unsuspecting immigrant. This ill-fated transaction led to a life being tragically cut short, casting an eternal sorrowful cloud upon the mansion. However, the mansion's troubled history did not conclude there. In the early 1900s, it became entangled in yet another heart-wrenching incident. Following a lively party at the residence, a couple found themselves in a dire situation in the driveway. Their lives were cruelly taken and the perpetrators vanished without a trace. It is said that the aftermath of that fateful night continues to manifest itself. The spot where the couple met their untimely end reportedly bears an eerie mark bloodstains believed to reappear on the pavement no matter how many times they're washed away. Number 6. Lone Deer Trapped Near the falls, visitors to Niagara Falls were surprised to spot a white-tailed deer isolated on a small island near the Horseshoe Falls. During their vacation, a concerned family observed the deer emerging from the island's lush vegetation, prompting them to notify the authorities. Despite the heartfelt concerns, both the Niagara Parks Police and the Provincial Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry decided against a rescue mission. The decision was grounded in the perceived risks associated with the strong currents and the potential danger of startling the animal into the falls. Nevertheless, despite its isolation, the deer appears to be faring well on the island, finding shelter and a readily available supply of apples for sustenance. Remarkably, there are no evident natural threats to its well-being. Experts even suggest that the deer might actually prefer its solitude and, being competent swimmers, deer can navigate the waters if necessary, although the rapid currents pose a challenge. The solitary deer has garnered considerable attention from onlookers concerned for its safety. Number 5. The Hermit of Niagara 
Francis Abbott, famously known as the Hermit of Niagara. Little is known about his early life or the motivations behind his choice to adopt a hermit's existence. By the early 19th century, specifically the 1820s, he had established his abode near the base of Niagara Falls on the Canadian side, dwelling in a modest cave or hut. The Hermit of Niagara became a local curiosity, capturing the attention of those drawn to the falls. Despite choosing a life of solitude, he proved to be a well-spoken man, fluent in various languages, suggesting a solid education. His days were spent in seclusion, immersed in reading, writing, and playing the violin. Visitors to the falls sought him out, intrigued by the mysterious man who had opted for such a distinctive life in proximity to the Roaring Falls. Despite his reclusive lifestyle, the hermit was known for his friendliness and willingness to engage in conversation with those who ventured to meet him. However, he guarded his past closely, never revealing much about why he chose a life of solitude, further shrouding him in mystery. Tragically, in 1829, the life of the Hermit of Niagara came to an unexpected end when his lifeless body was discovered near the falls. The cause of his demise remains an enduring mystery, with speculations ranging from accidental circumstances to potential foul play. Number 4. Red Coach Inn Taking the prestigious number 4 spot, the Red Coach Inn sits just a stone's throw away from the thundering waters of Niagara Falls in New York. With a history dating back to the 1920s, this historic inn has been a welcoming haven with its English Tudor-style architecture and inviting ambience, making it a cherished destination among travelers. However, the allure of the Red Coach Inn extends beyond its hospitality and proximity to the falls. It's the haunting tales of the supernatural that capture the imagination of many the inn's charm is intertwined with stories of the paranormal, particularly one concerning a bride named Emily. During the tumultuous 1920s, tragedy struck when Emily and her newlywed husband occupied the exquisite Victoria Suite. A passionate dispute unfolded, leaving an indelible mark on the suite's history. The outcome was devastating, and it is believed that Emily's spirit never departed from the inn. Guests staying in the Victoria Suite have reported mysterious occurrences, adding an extra layer of intrigue to their stay, from faucets mysteriously turning on by themselves to unexplained cold spots and the faint, soft whimpering of a woman's voice. The supernatural tales surrounding the Redcoach Inn have become an integral part of its mystique weaving a unique narrative into the fabric of this historic establishment. Number 3. Haunted Cemetery of Drummond Hill This cemetery holds not only a rich history but also a plethora of mysteries that have intrigued visitors since the 18th century. Beyond being a mere resting place for the departed, it has evolved into one of the most discussed haunted locations in the region, drawing the attention of both supernatural enthusiasts and history buffs alike. The roots of the cemetery's mystique trace back to the Battle of Lundy's Lane in 1814, a pivotal clash during the War of 1812 that unfolded in proximity to this very site. As one of the fiercest battles on Canadian soil, it became the tragic end for many soldiers from both sides. Legends whisper that these soldiers still tethered to the trauma of war wander the grounds of the cemetery. Visitors often recount eerie experiences from distant sounds of gunfire to ghostly cries and even sightings of spectral soldiers. However, these apparitions, elusive in nature, vanish upon closer inspection, leaving an air of mystery in their wake. Among the prominent ghostly figures, the spirit of Laura Secord, the Canadian heroine from the same war, is believed to roam the cemetery. Despite being buried here, the reasons behind why her spirit might wander remain shrouded in mystery, adding an additional layer of intrigue to this haunted locale. Number two, the Niagara Lights. 
Niagara Falls, with its raw power and captivating beauty, has always stood as a natural marvel, attracting visitors from across the globe. However, as evening descends, this wonder undergoes a remarkable transformation into a breathtaking spectacle of light and color. The illumination of Niagara Falls has a rich history, originating from an initiative to enhance the fall's allure during the nighttime. The concept of lighting up Niagara Falls traces back to 1860 when Bengal lights were first used to illuminate the falls for a special visit by the Prince of Wales. This early experiment laid the foundation for future endeavors to showcase the cascading waters under the night sky. Fast forward to 1925, a more organized and ambitious effort was launched. A group of business individuals from the United States and Canada joined forces to establish the Niagara Falls Illumination Board. Their goal was to finance and oversee a project to permanently illuminate both the American and Horseshoe Falls. Leveraging advancements in technology and lighting, they equipped the falls with powerful carbon searchlights casting a radiant glow over the waters. The Niagara Falls Illumination Board has maintained these lights almost every night, except for a period during World War II when they were turned off to conserve electricity. In recent times, modern technology in the form of computerized touchscreens has been employed to control the dazzling light show. Now, delving into the topic of what scientists found at the bottom of Niagara Falls during the 1969 drainage, unexpected and disturbing revelations came to light. Beneath the waters lay shackles and other contraband, suggesting potential ties to criminal activities. Additionally, researchers allegedly stumbled upon mangled bodies that bore signs of falling victim to killers or something even more sinister lurking in the vicinity. The prospect of uncovering more unsettling truths looms as future attempts to drain the falls are contemplated. Number one, dead human bodies uncovered. In 1969, when the American side of Niagara Falls was temporarily turned off for repairs, dead human bodies were uncovered. More recently, two headless bodies were found. The causes behind these tragic discoveries are diverse, some individuals ventured perilously close to the falls and were swept away by its formidable currents, while others fell victim to accidents such as boat mishaps or slips from nearby trails. Local authorities collaborating with rescue and recovery teams have tirelessly worked to retrieve and identify these individuals. Ongoing efforts are directed at enhancing safety measures around the area, including the installation of guardrails, warning signs, and public awareness campaigns highlighting the dangers of approaching the water's edge. So what do you think? Let us know below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.